Sonny, fight week started. How are you feeling? Yeah, man, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. Cannot wait for Saturday night, literally. It's been the best camp so far. Uh, I feel I'm in the best shape I've ever been in and the fittest I've ever been. Um, literally just buzzing to get in there, yeah. You had your last fight um, not, not too long ago. It's been fairly recent, a um, few months back now. Have you been learning a lot in this camp? You said it's the best one you've had. Are we going to be seeing a better version of yourself? Yeah, 100%. You're going to be seeing the best version of um, Sonny Liston Ali, 100%. 100%. And are we approaching this fight a little bit differently? Are you seeing yourself maturing? Are you seeing, you know, these little experiences like today, working with the media? Is these all the kind of things you want to do to continue to grow as a fighter? Yeah, that's it, definitely. Like, obviously, this sort of stuff, you, like, you, you need to build that, don't you? You need to build your profile. You need to get your fans behind you. Um, and, yeah, I mean, my body's shaping up now. I'm getting, like, to the mature amount. I'm 23 now, so I'm, get, I'm getting on. Um, but yeah, literally, it's the best shape I've been in. Um, SNC smashing that with uh, Danny Stevens. So, yeah, literally just ready. Cannot wait. You mentioned your strength and conditioning there. Is there been any other things that you've been working on in this camp that you might have not targeted as much in previous camps, for example? I mean, every week is always something different. In it. There's always something you're learning every week. Every, with every spy, you're learning something different. Like obviously. This, this camp, we've had about eight different sparring partners come in, so we've had various different um, different styles. And, um, yeah, so we're ready for whatever whatever this guy can bring, we're ready for. Your last fight, you had your guy down twice, you know, you were looking for a stoppage, but it didn't come. Is that something you say, I want to get those get that first stoppage out maybe this weekend? 100%, yeah. Like, I, to be honest with you, I, I think this one, yeah, this will be the first stoppage. I'm, I'm confident if everything is going how the training is going, then yeah, I'm confident I'll, I'll get this guy out of there. And to be fair, I think he's only ever been stopped once or twice before, so he's, he's definitely he's, he's a tough opponent. But I mean, that that will prove myself even more, won't it? If I can get him out of there, then I'll show people even more like who Sonny List early is. For you now, we're we're approaching you know your four fights. You've had those first few on the belt. Do you feel now like you're just? This is what you do, is you're a professional boxer now. It's not the nerves of the first fight, now it's just getting into there, or is it still something like pinch myself when I when your ring walk goes? Yeah, it's still, do you know what it, it does it, it still does uh, like feel for, uh, surreal. Like it's even all this today, like doing this, like I mean, I went to a boxing show last week and I'm being stopped and asked for pictures and things like that. Like it's it's crazy. Like I never like you, until you do it, like you never expect it, do you? like something like you you never think it's gonna come around, but um yeah, man, it's, 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 it's crazy, it is crazy, but um, very good, you know what I mean? Now, when we go into this fight, when, how do you see yourself picturing it? Is it something that you're going to try, you know, he's very durable, as you said, your opponent. Are you going to be going there, trying to feel him out, move around? Are you going to be trying to drop bombs from the first, from the first uh, bell? How exactly are you going to approach the fight? That would be telling, wouldn't it? But uh, <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm, I'm going in there, this is fires to show like the mean side of me. Do you know what I mean? Like it's time to show now the spite. Like I've got to be in there from the start. I'm gonna get going, and um, I know what this guy is like. I know he comes out. He, he from the, if he's got like, like a new opponent, like someone early on in their career, like myself, he'll come out and test the waters himself. He'll come out and try and have it out sort of thing. So hopefully he does that. Like the, like you say, the last three opponents, none of them have really come to to have like, to have a fight. If you know what I mean, they've come to sort of like survive. If you know what I mean, so hopefully this guy, like you say, he's durable himself anyway, so he knows what he's doing. Hopefully he comes to have a fight, and then that way, you like you can only be as good as your opponent, can't you? When someone's just trying to run and survive, like it's hard to show how good you are. Do you know what I mean? So hopefully, hopefully he does. Hopefully that's what we're that's what we're hoping for. He comes to have a fight. And do you feel by having an opponent that is hopefully coming to fight, it's going to show the people that? How your levels that maybe that suits your more might suit your style more. Yeah, hundred percent. Like you say, styles make fights, don't they? And if you're just constantly trying to chase someone down, like trying to move, just trying to pick shots, you know what I mean? It's harder to like, it's harder to look good. It's harder to get the shots off. Like, so when someone's sort of coming, like especially the way I fight as well, like it will definitely like it'll definitely stand out for me, hundred percent. Is it also in your head part of you saying, by having a fight like that, I'm going to learn more about where I am as a professional, what I need to improve on, than just having an opponent that doesn't want to engage, doesn't want to do anything? Yeah, like you say, um, I'm early on in my career, so 
it's all experience at the end of the day, right? Like for the first like, ten fights, probably it's all experience, isn't it? So hopefully, yeah, hopefully I will learn, learn in it, obviously getting the learning rounds, and then yeah. Now going into you know the future, if you get your win on Saturday, which we really hope you do, what, where do you see yourself for the rest of the year? Do you see yourself competing and very actively, or do you want to take a step back, work on a few more things, come out? pick your opponents like that style or is it just let's fight as much as I can yeah like hopefully yeah hopefully I'll fight as much as I can yeah but obviously um, that's all in the hands of Frank and Andy so whatever, whatever they think's best for me I'm like do you know what I mean I trust in them so whatever they think's best I'll go with that but for me ideally I want to be out as much as possible just keep getting the rounds in keep getting the rounds in keep getting the fights and then um, yeah just keep progressing in my career now I'm going to ask yourself picture us yourself not this time on Saturday but a bit later in the evening what do you think is going to happen is it going to be your first stoppage are you going to have a points win that you're going to win every round again what, what are you picturing in your head definitely win every round um, I've, got, I've got a feeling I'm going to stop this guy like, the, way, the, the way this training camp has been going and my strength has just come on so much um, even a boxing Billy but the, the strength is a big key factor that's come on this camp like before everyone probably see me as just like a tall, skinny, like boxer, do you know what I mean? Now like the man strength is coming out of me. So yeah, I'll picture myself hopefully having an early night, getting him out of there, and then getting home and getting McDonald's and pizza and whatever else I can eat, whatever else I can stuff my face with. What, what, what is it about this training camp that's been so different that, that you feel is a reason for why you're gonna come into this fight better than you've ever come out before? I feel like with this training camp, everything's just gone right. The dieting has gone right. Like I've just eaten so clean. Um, all my vitamins, minerals, like everything. Everything for this camp has just been bang on. The strength and conditioning, doing that twice a week. Before this, before this camp, I didn't. I weren't doing strength and conditioning and things like that. Um, all the sparring. I've had lots and lots of sparring. Lots of the sparring people a lot heavier than myself as well. I mean, my last bar this week was, I was sparring people with 10, 11 kilos heavier, do you know what I mean? And I'm still having it out with them. So if I can have it out with them, do you know what I mean? This, is, this, this, like, this guy should be fucking no, no work, do you know what I mean? Well, we're looking forward to seeing a very confident Solilist and Ali out on Saturday. Do you have any last message for your fans? Um, thanks for everyone that's coming. Thanks for everyone that's bought tickets. Um, and yeah, obviously a big shout out to my sponsors. We've got Volt Shenfield, um, Titan Crew. Uh, Masters Communication and Ringside, of course. Thank you so much. Thanks, mates.